With the exception of their original, we reviewed all of Trove's wallets. The Swift, the Cash Wrap, and the Coin Caddy. They all share similar foundations, so today we're going to compare the Trove Trio. That sounds kind of good. So stick around. Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here. Go to wallatopia.info, register. I talk about this all the time. Just go do that. Now, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets, especially since we purchase all the wallets we review. Now, today we're going to do a three way comparison between the Trove Swift, the Cash Wrap, and the Coin Caddy. So let's get into it. Now, these are all slim wallets. They're in that category, and they're all about basically the same size, and they're all foundationed on the same footprint. They all have elastic that's part of their construction and it really is uh, what makes the product line that we have with Trove so appealing in what they can do. And they have different functionality pieces. So actually, let's walk through the feature review of each of these. Let's start with the Trove Swift. Trove Swift is the first one that we, we've done a review on Wallotopia on, and I put a card in here just to show how this functions to begin with. This is the quick access pull strap here for two cards, that you or more cards, you wanna have in the front that you just pull out, and that's where you can get access to your cards quickly. Outside of this one pocket there, we have another pocket on the top. This pocket actually is for more cards or cash. You can put coins in there too. Yeah, I've seen coins be put in there, keys, other things. The elastic's pretty strong. And then flipping it over on the opposite side of the pull strap for quick access, we have yet another slot right here. And that's another place to put cards or cash in particular if you want. That is the Swift. The cash wrap on the other hand, it has a quick access pull strap right here in the back as well, and that's what gets access to cards. Again, they all have a pull strap here, in the, at least in these three models. And this is without, without having to open it up yet. You can have access to cards quickly. And the access is twofold. We not only have the quick access strap here, but once we open this up, we have yet another slot right here in front for additional cards right there. And then we are into the cash portion. Cash begins peeking its head out up here because as we open it up further, cash lays all the way down. It secures itself behind here in the slot that we have. And then we have the coin pouch. So there's a little coin pouch right here, and that's where you can place coins, but its primary function is the cash, cash wrap, that's its name. It folds up like this. That's the has its elastic there, and we're ready to go. If we look at the coin caddy, the coin caddy itself, again, has the quick access pull strap. It's a feature of their main products. And it also has here on the side, this little opening. And right in here, you can actually fold cash, flip it into there, fold it twice, and you'll have access to cash without needing to open it up. But if you want, open it up. You then have a, another card slot here for more cards. And then right back here is where you put your coins. And since this is elastic, it can carry quite a few and it can get this to be a pretty fat looking wallet if you want with coins, but that's its purpose. And so with that, they all share the elastic that we see here. They have the elastic that's inside of the cash wrap here. And elastic is the foundation of all of their wallets. And it is uh, an Italian made elastic and great in its capabilities and its longevity. That's a quick review of the features of these three particular wallets. Now let's look at the side by side card and cash and we got some coin in there insertion test. So starting with the Trove Swift, we already got one card in there for quick access. Let's put another one in there. Let's then take a few more cards. One, two, three, let's take five more. Put that into the card area, main one at the top, which is great for secondary usage. And then let's take a couple slips of cash here, fold it over twice, and let's just put that in this third slot that we have here in the bottom. Very easy, very simple, nice, compact. With the cash wrap. Cash wrap, we've already got one in here. Let's put another quick access card in here. The elastic. We open this up. We notice immediately this is where cash usually goes. And so let's grab some cash. We've got six slips of cash here. One thing that's nice, again, is that it's got this little holding area right down the bottom. This is what secures the base of the cash keeps it in place and also prevents it from pulling out too easily when you're going for cash and you want to find what you want. It of course also has a little coin pouch here. So let's grab some coins. Four, put them in here. And I love because of the crease that happens here when it folds, it protects them, keeps them in there. And let's wrap this up. 
as its name suggests. There we go. And we're down to the coin caddy. One more card for the quick access right here. Let's just flip this in the back. Let's open this up. We've got more cards here, capability. So we'll put four more in right here in the front, as you can see. That's where these go. And then, of course, its main focus is on coins. So let's get a bunch of coins and throw those in the back there. Yay! There we go. Perfect. Now, we also mentioned that it can handle cash too in the front. So let's grab three slips of cash here, fold it over twice. Right there, we put this in, and there we go. Nice. This is wonderful. And there you go. That is how we get card and cash and coins into the Trouble lineup. Now let's talk about interoperability. Foundationally, they all share the same Italian elastic. This yellow here is the elastic, elastic on the back here on the coin caddy, and which is fantastic. And you would think that the construction then is all the same, but you'd be slightly wrong. As mentioned, the cash wrap is the sweet spot for interoperability because you can separate them and you have, what, say what? Yeah, let's take a look at this. As we talked about, let's just look at this again. I mean, right here, the cash wrap really can break down into two separate wallets. Let's take this apart here. Let's say that, you know what? I like my coins I've got in here and I like my cash, but tonight I only need my cards. Well, guess what? We could flip that out, take the card portion out. Now we have a separate wallet here of cash and coin, and I have my card. Like my, my card here, I've got my, uh, quick, uh, my quick access capability here. Just pull out, there we go. I can add additional cards into this and just carry this. And so between the two of these, you actually have two wallets. It's quite cool. The Swift can also act as the elastic for the cash wrap. It just fits the same way. So if you have the, if you want more features, you know, the full three, then you get here with the elastic that came with the cash wrap, you can take the Swift and you can then apply it to the cash wrap and get the same capabilities. Now I've got a leather model here with the Swift and I've got these reflective, these reflex options here, which are vegan, uh, but they all come in leather capabilities here. Now from a price perspective, you see the pricing here between these three, all very close, very complimentary. The weight, the weight between them as well, very close and very complimentary. And the measurements are all about the same. So it, really the footprint is what uh, is important here. Now let's look at their final scores. As you can see, they all scored very closely. Fantastic capabilities. They share a lot of functions and features obviously, but in the end, you can see that the Swift and the Coin Caddy end up with a 41, the Cash Wrap a 39, Three great wallets, all from the same company, different capabilities, swappability. There's a lot of flexibility here. So if you haven't taken a look at these yet, look at the links here for the individual reviews or go out and actually buy one. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, bye.